Hello there, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, the internet, and the like, and welcome back to Team Fortress 2. Today, I'm going to be playing as the Engineer, using the pistol, the Gunslinger, and roughly two months after its release in this Miss Miss update, we're finally going to be using this new shotgun added to Team Fortress 2, the Panic Attack. Now, I said I would actually make a video of this weapon, a while ago, shortly after it was actually implemented into the game, but I never got around to doing that for fairly valid reasons, and I'm pretty much going to be spouting the same opinion that everyone and their grandmother has already expressed about this weapon, so if you don't want to listen to the exact same thing that everyone else has likely already spoken, then just stop watching this video right here. All the same, I will try to keep it short, and we're going to jump right into this whole subject, this whole debacle, by talking about the statistics of the panic attack. So this is basically the beggar's bazooka of shotguns. You can load up a maximum of four shots and unleash a barrage attack of shotgun shells. So okay, you can preload the shotgun shells, I guess that's pretty interesting. And as your health decreases, the firing rate of this shotgun also exponentially increases, but at the same time, the spread of the shotgun gets ridiculously wider over time. Another interesting factoid, this is an all-class shotgun, meaning that any class that by stock, by default, has an equipable shotgun, he can use this weapon. So that includes, of course, the soldier, the pyro, and the heavy alongside the engineer, who is the only class, notably, that uses a shotgun as a primary weapon. So now that we've covered these statistics, let's go over my problems with this weapon, because everyone wants to hear me complain about this weapon that everyone has already complained about. I don't like the panic attack, and nobody should enjoy the panic attack at all. It doesn't make any sense. This is a shotgun that I have to load shots into before you can actually fire. That's just simply not how a shotgun functions. I think it could work if you could actually store the shots by holding down the fire key as soon as you loaded the maximum amount in, but that's not how it works. As soon as you load the maximum amount of shots in, the game forces you to fire them all. So if you're running around the corner expecting an enemy to be there, then you're just probably going to end up wasting shots when there's nobody to shoot. True, you might kill that one fly that's been bugging you for the past five seconds, but unfortunately killing flies does not count towards your score Team Fortress 2, so... There is that extra downside to consider. Another thing, if you're retreating from an enemy, let's say for instance you have 15 health as an engineer and you're loading up shots as you're being chased by a scout. Now, here's the thing. If you would rather load up those shots and run directly face to face with that scout and try to unleash the barrage attack, I hate you. Because Nobody in the right mind is going to start running towards an enemy that's chasing them at such low health. The purpose is to run away. If the spread were actually tighter on this shotgun as your health decreased, it would make more sense because it would discourage people from chasing you to begin with. But that's simply not how it's designed, and it's just... If the spread gets wider, you're probably only going to be dealing about 6 damage at medium range or most likely long range, and I know that shotguns aren't really long range weapons to begin with, but if this could just be a slight exception so that way you could discourage people from tailing you, you know, it would be more redeemable, but that's unfortunately not how it's designed, and that just pretty much makes it worse than a side grade in my opinion. This shotgun is essentially a downgrade. There just aren't many situations where it's worth using. If I had a stock shotgun, I could just click on an enemy immediately and actually deal damage. The barrage attack on paper seems like an interesting concept, but the execution of it is just so poor and I really cannot stand trying to actually record any more gameplay with this weapon. And you've probably noticed too, I haven't recorded any gameplay as any other class that can equip the panic attack, because there's just no point. Those classes use the panic attack as a secondary weapon. And when in the right mind are you ever going to want to switch to your secondary weapon, load up the shots, and fire them? Because potentially, you'll be doing such a minimal amount of damage because this shotgun is just so poorly designed. I really cannot stand this weapon, but I really want to like it. I really want to give it the chance it deserves, but no, I just, I simply can't. I don't like the panic attack, and I really wish it could get changed so that way it would be much more of a side grade rather than considerably as it is 
a total downgrade. But you know how Valve is with new weapons added to Team Fortress 2, is that it usually takes about two or three years before they decide to change one of the weapons that has already been implemented. And whether they change it for the better or for the worse, that's really up to them. I guess it's what you'd call subjective at this point, but to be perfectly honest, I really want to see something great done with the panic attack at some point. Just, it probably won't be happening for a while, but until then, I'm just gonna stop using this weapon. I mean, if there's one thing I could say that's redeemable about it is that it's tons of fun to use an MVM once you fully upgrade it for laughs, but that's basically the only exception I can make for this. This shotgun is fairly poor, and I honestly think it should be an engineer-only weapon, because as I said, any other class that uses a shotgun should have the access to the instant damage, and unfortunately, that's just not going to work out for them, because they already have primary weapons that are much better to use in a situation compared to the panic attack, because they would have to load up the shots, and if they load up all the shots, then they're probably not going to hit all of them, because it's a shotgun that is a barrage attack weapon, it's just, this weapon is just awful, so... Thank you guys very much for watching, have a great day or evening, and I guess I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.